Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we are doing another class from our April series. Today's class is going to be elderberry, one of my favorites again. I said this about each and every one of them and they truly are my favorites for different reasons of course. And Cayenne was phenomenal. It will be uh, on this week's program on the website. For you today, there is Elderberry. Come to the website, sign up for the membership. The entire program is there, including every other program from the past years and every other class over 400, maybe 500 at this point. I stopped <laughs> counting. So there is numerous classes. The uh, April program is quite healing and we're inviting we're holding space for healing to occur on different levels within ourselves we are taking the energies that are going around the earth now transforming them turning things internally and seeing places that can heal they can that can transform and also radiate externally once it's coming from a place of purity. Today's class will focus on the energy of elderberry, which is a healing, rejuvenating uh, um, berry or herb. The flower essence brings light to a soul that feels darkness and it can bring rejuvenating um, energy to a tired soul. It can bring joy. So it's a joyous, joyous flower. It's a beautiful flower. And of course, the elderberry is a powerful herb used for lungs in Chinese medicine. It looks like lungs. When you strip down the berries, it's gorgeous. So by contemplating the, the plant, we actually attune our frequencies to that frequency. It is a powerful thing. So contemplate a beautiful elderberry and we're going to focus on rejuvenation, renewal, building strength, seeing joy and there will be um, meditation, shavasana on forgiveness, forgiving, releasing guilt at the end. So remember to flow with strength and ease. Starting in the front of the mat, roll the shoulders back and down, lift to the crown of the head, fill the belly, deep inhalations, complete exhalations. In Chinese medicine, elderberry and elderflower have affinity to the lungs and they're detoxifying, that's in part how they work as immuno boosters in western medicine so it's good to always look at chinese western uh, flower essence so we see shamanic we see the whole picture and all the the energetics behind it nice deep inhalations complete exhalations filling the lungs and paying attention to your lungs so another breath in Feeling the joy of that sensation of bringing prana and energy and air in. Gratitude for the capacity to be here in this body, on this earth, to be able to breathe, to grow and to awaken the consciousness. Inhale the hands over the head, lift. Exhale, dive. forward fold let your head hang heavy here you can look to your left looking under the left shoulder softening the gaze and cultivating a gentle soft smile looking towards the right and back to center even if your spirit is on fire if you're a fire it always helps to soften with a smile 
Inhale, look ahead and let's step in plank. Hold your plank. Breathe. Spread the fingers open, press into the thumbs. That's where we usually slack. So I'm just pointing out the place where you're not pressing down and the place between the thumb and the index. Press in there. I know you're not. Okay, I know that 90% of you are not. <laughs> And Chaturanga, upward dog, Chaturanga, downward dog. Continue that breath. Again, look under the left shoulder and under the right and smile. Elderberry is so beautiful. Many years ago, I think about four years ago, um, I was picking. It might have been this particular jar. We were making, we picked the elderberry and we were making um, this tonic in, in vodka and honey, basically, as preservatives and also delivery agents. And uh, when you clean up the branches, it looks like the lungs. Nature usually has things that vibrate on the same frequency, they form the same external appearance because frequencies for, uh, create the form. Inhale the right leg up. And really lift, you can walk your hands closer to your left leg and just explore here some flexibility and wow thing side plank hold it Bring both hands down and we're going to take the side plank. Feet alignment, hands down here in plank alignment. And we're gonna do knee tucks. One, alternating. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And step your left foot through high lunge. Exhale the hands on the inside of the leg in here you can come onto the tippy toes and move and plank chaturanga upward dog chaturanga downward dog Take the left leg up and you can walk in the hands in towards the leg. Exploring the flexibility, you can bend the knee, lift, walk to the front and wow thing. And side plank. Hold it. Smile. Bring both hands down. Knee tucks. One, two, three, four. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you can step the right foot through. High lunge. Exhale down. You can be onto the tippy toes and open up the chest, explore the hip openness. Plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga, Downward Dog. Smiling. Here in a introverted, inverted pose. Gazing at ourselves. Smiling at our own selves. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, warrior two. Breath is rejuvenation, so we're bringing that energy of contemplating elderberry, which is such a magnificent, magical, phenomenal plant and by bringing our awareness contemplating something we resonate with the frequency so when you contemplate things it's arguably it depends on the consciousness more powerful than actually being in its present presence or even physically taking it this is next level Evolution and side angle. And plank. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Chaturanga. Downward dog. And let's take the left leg up. Step it through, warrior two. Feeling that rejuvenating power of your breath, connecting on that level with your breath. Inside angle. Bring into every area that feels stuck, not open, stagnant. Plank. Chaturanga. Upper dog. Chaturanga. Downward dog.
inhale the right leg up step it through keep the left hand down bring the right arm up twisting lunge and shifting into revolving moon half moon and step it back into twisting lunge and come up and reach up and over hands in prayer step into yogic squat elder flower as a flower essence is really interesting because it can bring light into the darkness in if the soul feels overwhelmed and in a dark place which cyclically happens to most I think just observing the aroma of elder flower and how the flower is so almost I should say effervescent in its beauty that suggests a little bit of it in the color of cream and everything about it is so When we quiet down, things speak to us without words. So when we try to tune into things such as a flower, we can understand it. And sometimes we can't explain it because that is the beauty of deeper communication. And let's reach up with the hands, come up and step back, high lunge. And we're going to bring the right hand down, twist. And reach forward, revolving half moon. and plank we're going to take a top of a push-up position do a push-up and we did this in the Kayan class I think or in one of the previous classes so it's a little bit of a twist and a knee tuck and it really gets gets to work on this particular part of your obliques so feel it and just give it a nice crunch and then push up and a nice crunch, push up, 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 crunch, and walk your hands back to your feet, forward fold. Walk the hands back to the front, plank, and you can walk or jump into star plank. And we're gonna do a few more of those. So let's go. One, I'm gonna count only feet out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One more, one more. Push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. Yoga squat. Wrap around. Opposite side. Take the long side of the mat, open the legs. You can stretch side to side here, hands on the floor, bending one knee at a time, pushing the hips back. Opposite side, side to side. Just a few more of those. Straight back, come up. Here we're gonna start with a side lunge with Nita. So I'll demonstrate it. One. Two. All right, let's begin. Push the right hip back, left hand on the floor, straight back, looking slightly ahead, not down, not far up, slightly ahead, and we're gonna bring the left knee, either with a hop or without, to the elbow, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side to side now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. So that should be seventy now with the first two side lunges here. Step to your left, take a side lunge and back with your right leg. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, really keep the belly, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, which makes it 90. Opposite side, one, 90 all together with the side lunges, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a hundred and ten. Take wide stance, feet pointing slightly forward and we're gonna draw infinity in side lunges. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, and forward fold. Inhale with a straight back, and we're going to take a little closer in stance. We're going to step behind, staggered back lunge, back to center, just one side. Left leg moving. Let's go. One, two, three, stay low, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 140, opposite side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, standing to your left, end of the mat, facing with your left hip, we're going to step out, hop, come back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, opposite sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Coming into the center, take a squat and we're gonna step it out. One, opposite side alternating. Two, three, stay low, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 30, which makes it 200 of the lunges plus 100 of the star planks. We're at 300. You can grab a wall, hold on to a wall and press straight back. So don't open the hip, we just press back one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knee now. Same thing, straight back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you can open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straighten the leg a little. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. And bend the leg again, but press instead of diagonally out, slightly back. One, two, three, almost like a hip opening here for five, six, seven, eight nine that makes it 50 opposite side one so straight back straight back straight leg straight back blah, blah, blah. <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten bend the knee straight project with the heel one two really squeeze four five six seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you can open, open the hip, bent knee, slightly out diagonally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now you can straighten the leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hip opening style so the knee is bent the tailbone is tucked under the hips are opening pressing back one not too far back it, you feel where the muscles work are working best one two three four five six seven eight nine and that's 50 we're at 400 Reps, step at the front of the mat, inhale, the hands over the head, exhale, diving. Inhale, look ahead, plank. Here we're going to take top of a push-up and we're gonna do out marches. So step out, push-up, step opposite side, alternating, push-up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bending the knees. Stepping your feet just a touch closer than they are for um, plank. So in between all fours and plank knees, just a little closer, we're gonna pendulum the knees. So we're going to sit back and sit back. And really, again, work on those obliques. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. This puts us at 4.30. Mostly because we also do other things. Nice Ujjayi breath.
plank. Top of a push up. We're going to do cross unders. So crossing, push up, alternating, push up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 450. Lay down onto your belly and bend the knees, press through your heels. And we're gonna lift the right leg first. One, two, keep the hips square and down. So you're really using the glutes and hamstrings. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 470. Opposite side, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Four ninety. Because this is so effective, we're gonna do one more round. Right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. So we're at five ten. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Four thirty. Let's finish with a bang. Squat. Squat. We're going to take a step back. Squat jump. Cross back lunge to squat jump. Let's go. Alternating. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, forty, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a chair and or a squat whichever one and stay low tippy toes one two three four five and that puts it puts us in five fifty five a synchronistic number finishing off with elevated bicycles keep your alignment one two one two one two one two let's go into plow (sighs) 
shoulder stand. <laughs> Lower down onto your back. Hug your knees, rocking side to side. Grab the back of your knees, rock up, forward fold. Flip around, sit between your heels, lower down. Coming up, pigeon, finding length. Now, if you have been with me for eight years, you probably you don't need the explanations for many poses. So there is classes that I do with less instructions. If you're new, don't worry that you may not get everything within one class. It's really a process, no one ever does. Even if a class is slow, in my experience, Sometimes the mind can kick in and create even more confusion about all the details in every part of the body. And when there is no coherence, it creates a little too much mind energy. And again, taking us out of the body, thinking too much about it. So keep flowing and learning and there's gonna be aha moments of understanding a pose way into your journey. Two years into your journey, you may be like, wow, this is what Warrior 2 is. And then two years later, you may even <sighs> scratch that and have a whole new realization because everything goes in layers of consciousness. We're constantly peeling off the layers in every sphere of life. Yoga is just one example. This is the continuously expanding consciousness. And as our consciousness expands, we're ready to feel and see new things and hear and connect with people that are saying them or thinking them or sharing them. Opposite side. So breathe. Keep the hips level
coming up in in seated comfortable seated pose let's bring the hands over the belly and over the heart or over the solar plexus however your hands are drawn wherever they're drawn inhaling and feeling the breath can lay back down either on your side or if your belly is strong lower down one vertebra at a time you can extend the legs <sighs> open the palms of the hands up everything natural you're not holding any part of the body you're not trying to just have your but cheeks flexing or your shoulders tensing or your legs aligned just flop literally you can create a feeling of <laughs> floppiness by first creating tension so you can tense the body and really point the toes and pull the belly in and create a fist with your hands and tighten the jaw and then with the ha more has just letting go allowing the flow of energy of thoughts of feelings of emotions to pass through you without holding on without analyzing just observing and allowing experiencing full surrender inviting the energy of forgiveness the consciousness of forgiveness into your field just by humming the word or having the visual of forgiveness however that works for you or, or the experience of how forgiveness feels forgiveness towards yourself self-forgiveness allowing your psyche to take you an area of your consciousness of your memories of your experiences where there has not been forgiveness in this life or beyond in any of your existences existence and breathing into that area into that place To that space and time occurrence and allowing yourself to release it mm -hmm. 
treating yourself the way we would treat a child, an innocent toddler, forgiving them because we understand that they come from a space, a place of wanting to learn, of growing, and of making mistakes along the way. Turning that same awareness towards ourselves, towards our soul, and allowing everything to be released, things to be released that we hold against us, allowing ourselves to find forgiveness, self-forgiveness, as life is one big learning opportunity. And the moment we understand love, and we look at our guilt as an opportunity to learn how to forgive on a bigger level and when we look at our the things we're guilty about as something that we deeply deeply understand and we would not repeat that cycle again we cut that cycle and we're able to continue from a place of purity and knowledge So again, finding one thing or things that we feel guilty about. Taking a big breath in there. So taking yourself in that time and space and the breath goes there. And exhale, exhales through there. And again, inhaling there. And exhaling through there. One more. And exhaling through there. And feeling the purity of existence now. The beauty of forgiveness. The power of intention to clear, to forgive, to move on, to act from a place of purity, knowing what we know, and to understand transformation as a continuous, beautiful, regenerating, renewing process. Of your favorite flower and smell it can you invoke the smell of your favorite flower for me I'll go with one of my favorites elderflower it fills the air with honey like sweetness sweetness aroma try to invoke the scent of a flower you love Aligning yourself with the frequencies of that flower. Vibrating at those frequencies. And let's inhale the hands over the head and point the toes, stretch. Bringing ourselves back here into this space we're occupying. rolling on the side keeping the eyes closed press yourself up to sit it inhale the hands over the head exhale them over the third eye and blink your eyes open smile hands over the heart and let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness, compassion, purity, 
strength and love. Namaste.